It's about being audience friendly, being you like, do what you're going to do to attract the audience you want to find. You know, like I'm willing to swear on this channel now. I didn't before. And like, I didn't swear at all. But the reality is when it's just me left to my own devices, I do swear sometimes. Like that is who I am. And that is something that I like to do. At the end of the day, do what is going to resonate with your audience that you want to find and the right companies that want to attract that audience will come seek you. Like if you're trying to work with companies that like sell products to kids, okay, yeah, you better not swear and you better have a generally positive uh, and educational message or whatever. Like you got to, you know, you got to toe a line pretty hard if you're looking for to target that market. I'm not. Uh, Jose, I do have an English major. Yes, I have a Bachelor of Science in English Language, or as I like to say it, I have my BS in BS. S saying you can't, you don't have to use swear words is like saying to a chef, you don't have to use chili powder or you don't have to use hot sauce. You're right. I don't have to, but that is a flavor that I want to add to this dish right here. I try not to swear all the time, but every so often when I know it's going to el elicit a particular reaction, I, I think throwing out an asshole or a damn it, I think it, it it can fit and it can be okay. The thing that I don't like and the thing that will turn me off to streamers immediately, and I think this is true for a lot of folks out there, when you, you throw on throw an asshole, exactly, exactly, you get it. Um, the thing that will that kills me is when people fill silence with swear words. When somebody's like thinking through their place and they're just like, um, fucking, uh, damn it, shit. Uh, fucking, what do we need to do with the fucking? Like, that is using an abrasive turn of phrase that's, an ab that's using abrasive language for no purpose. You're not getting anything out of it other than triggering people who are sensitive to those words who might be in your audience. And so when whenever we drop a raid and and like somebody is just like drops out, oh shit, oh fuck, they're here. Like when I hear that, it's just kind of like, you might want to dial it back. You're like, that flavor's coming through a little too strong right now. Maybe you need to chill. And it's not that the flavor's bad. It's just, it needs to be used in moderation. You know, so that's, that's kind of my feeling when it comes to swearing. Like I think swearing should be okay. You should be fine. Just as long, I mean, I, that's what, also why I put occasional swearing in my tag. Like, I want to make it abundantly clear. I don't want it to come as a, like, crazy surprise when it happens. But I don't do it enough to mark my stuff as mature only, I, I don't think. It's not that I don't have a lot of options. It's just that I know that that can hit, in, that it can hit immediately. Okay, so, I, th using this citation or, like, referencing this now has not aged well at all. But go with me on this. All right. Back in like the 80s and 90s, Bill Cosby had a whole series of stand-up specials at a time when he was presenting a squeaky clean image to the public. In, I believe, himself, Bill Cosby himself, that uh, stand-up special is like 50 minutes long. It's about an hour. And in it, he has one swear word. And it's in a it's in, it's in a bit that is brilliant. So he's this is squeaky clean 90s Bill Cosby or whatever um, that everybody still loved um, because we didn't know yet. He had a bit where he was talking about grieving. He was talking about when somebody dies and people will say, but well, don't, don't worry. They're off in a better place. And he just paused for a second and said, what if he's an asshole? And that hits so hard because there was no other swearing around it. Like it just popped. Like that word had a function in that joke that worked because of the context. Yeah, and um, yeah, and then and then of course, like, I believe it was you know, Eddie Murphy came out with well, it wasn't Raw. I think it was one of his other specials where you know he has a whole bit about Bill Cosby giving him crap about swearing. That was delirious. Thank you. Yes, yes, Jose, that's the one. Yep, yep, yep. But yeah, so no, I'm I'm so boxing hard here. But uh, I have you know I've thought, thoughts on this stuff. I feel like if you enjoy the language, if you appreciate English and the use of it, I think occasional swearing, I think intentional swearing. It can be a powerful tool and uh, I don't I don't see a problem with it